Florida Panthers hosting the Las Vegas Golden Knights, game number three of the Stanley Cup Finals, and the Knights are plus 100 on the money line, the Panthers are minus 120. The over-under is anywhere between five and a half and six, it depends on your casino. The Knights getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 260, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win, they lose by one, you win. And the Panthers laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 210, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to puck drop tomorrow. So use a site like VegasInsider.com, totally free, and will allow you to compare all the casinos' pricings, whether you bet online or in person. And you can use another website like Covers.com. It'll give you all of the stats on how these teams have done against each other, what players were in net, what players were on the ice, what their over-under was, how many points per game, Pretty much anything that you want to know gambling-wise will be there. Head-to-head, -head, the home team is 9-1. The home team's on a seven-game winning streak. The favorite is on a four-game winning streak. The favorite is 8-2 and two on the money line. And the favorite winning these games by two goals or more, laying a goal and a half on the puck line, is 6-4. and four. There have been two one-goal games in their last 10, none in their last four. The over is hit in their last two. The over is 6-4. and four, And the over 6 is 6-3-1. Six, now, the games that they've played this year, the Knights won the last game 7-2. The Knights won the game before that 5-2. The Panthers won the game before that in Florida 2-1. And the game before that, the Knights won 4-2. Now, the Knights are one of these good, tricky teams where they play well on the road. Now, I understand that all of the stats here say take the Panthers at home. The Knights have come out like they're on a mission and like they are the superior team in this game. They did finish at top of their division. They did finish with more points than the Panthers. So I'm not saying that it's impossible that the Panthers win this game. I do think that the Panthers are going to get a game at home. I just want to see what's going to happen in this particular game because the Panthers have to play this game like this is game seven. I do think that the Knights are going to win this game because the only team to win a road game in their last 10 meetings against each other was the Knights. And the Knights play, in my opinion, better on the road than they do at home. I'm going to take the Knights with the money line. I'm going to take the Knights getting the goals. And I'm going to go over in this game once again. If the Panthers come out and absolutely dominate the Knights in this game, this series may take a shift for the better. If it doesn't and they come out and they look flat, then I'm not going to say that it's going to be over before it started, but we shall see. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.